Hello, and welcome to the Holistics video demonstration on how to set up your own Google Cloud database, import your data tables, and create your first Holistics report, all in a matter of minutes. One challenge many people face when trying to go digital and get more of their data is the problem of setting up a database online in the cloud. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to do that with Holistics, because we like to make it as fast and easy as possible for startups and analysts to get things done with your data. So let's go. First, you're going to need to sign up for a Google Cloud account on the Google Cloud website, which comes with a free trial and credits. Once you've done that, click on Products and go over to Cloud SQL under Storage and Databases. Once you're ready, take a deep breath and click on View Console, and we're about to create our first online Google Cloud database. Now we're going to create an instance on Google Cloud SQL. Holistics is able to set both MySQL and PostgreSQL databases, but for this demonstration, we'll be using MySQL. Select second generation. For the instance ID, give this a name that you like. So let's call it Holistics MySQL DB. And give this a root password that's easy for you to remember. Now for region, select an area that's close to where you are. And now select Show Advanced Options. Under Configure Machine Type and Storage, we'll only be using a really small data set on Google Spreadsheets for this demonstration. So change this to the smallest option available. This also means that you receive the lowest charges, which should barely put a dent in your free credits. We can leave the default settings for the rest of the section. Now select Authorized Networks and click on Add Network. We're going to have to whitelist the Holistic IP addresses in order to grant access to this database. So go over to the Holistics platform, select Data Sources, and click on Add New Data Source. The two IP addresses that we'll need are here for the official Holistics IP addresses. A name is optional here, so we won't have to add that in. Once finished, click on Done, close this section, and now we can create this instance. The instance will take a while to get set up, so we're going to skip ahead now. And now our instance is ready. Click on the instance, and here on this page, select Access Control. We're going to have to add a new user, so click on the Users tab, and select Create User Account. And now create this. Remember these details because we're going to need it later to connect the Holistics platform to this database. Next, we have to create a database with this instance. Click on Create Database. And let's give this database a name that we can easily remember. Let's call it Finance. And select Create. Now that we've created this database, we can connect it to Holistics as a new data source. So go back to the Holistics platform. For the data source name, we can give it any name we like. So let's call this a MySQL Holistics Demo Data Source. For the database type, specify the database that we're using, which is a MySQL database. And for hosts, we'll have to go back to the instance page and select Overview. Once you scroll down, the IPv4 address is the information that we need. For port, you can leave this entry empty. And the database name is the database that we created within the instance. And username was the user account that we just created. So remember this. Now let's test the connection. And the connection has been verified, so let's connect the data source. And the new data source has been added to Holistics. Now we're going to import a table of data into the database we just created. So select Data Imports in Holistics. Now we're going to add a new data import job. So click Add New Data Import. Now for the job name, let's call it 
cloud import demo. And for import source, we're going to use the table of data from Google Spreadsheets. Here, we have a table of data inside Google Spreadsheets that we want to import into the database. To do this, click on Share and copy the shareable link. Now go back to the Holistics platform and enter the Google source URL and click on Validate Source. And the data import feature has found the table of data. So now scroll down and specify the data source that we want to import this into, which was the data source that we just created. And let's call this table profitability. Now for sync configurations, I'll go into this another time, but this will be a full sync configuration. And for the data type, we can specify what they are. And this is for integer values. We can even specify how often we would like the data from the spreadsheet to be imported into our database. It can be on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, or every few minutes or even hours. Now we validate the configuration and we save the job. Now instead of waiting for 15 minutes, let's choose to execute this job immediately. We can click on the job history page and refresh this to see if the job has run. There it is. And so now if we click on import list and we click on the destination, we see that the table of data has been imported into the database on Holistics. Now that we've connected the database and imported a table of data into it, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your first Holistics report. So click on new report. Now specify the data source, which is the database that we just created. And I'm going to type a quick SQL statement to be able to generate a chart, which Autocomplete has been able to find. And now for visualization, I'm going to click Render Visualization, and I'm going to run the query. And now I'm going to select the chart type out like, which is an area chart. And now you can see that the chart has been generated. So I'll just use two of the columns and select a stacked chart type for the series to convey profitability. And I'll give this a report title. And click Save Report. And there you go. You've just created your first Holistics report. That's how easy it is to go from creating your own database to importing data to creating a Holistics chart. Thanks for watching, and we hope to hear from you soon. Take care.